guys welcome to my channel today i'm gonna show you how to train your uh, coromel model so so far there was a lot a lot of changes was happened um, since uh, ios uh, 11 was released i guess um, before i used to create the coromel i train uh, my coromel models with the uh, playground but right now i use a different way actually so basically what you need to do is you can just simply open up it uh, right click on uh, right click on the uh, xcode and uh, open developer tool so then you can see that create ml okay so then uh, you need to what you need to do is you can just simply uh, uh, a new uh, like you know um, so what you need to do new documents so then it opens up this you can just select image classifications click next um, you can simply write uh, my image classification that's totally fine my image classifier and uh, yeah new create a new file folder so this open up here but we need some things to uh, we need some data right to uh, train our model so what you need to do is you need to go on to the safari and uh, image.google.com so what we're gonna do is cats we will <clears throat> train a cat okay so what I will do is I'll simply minimize this one let's get out from this Alright, and I'm gonna create a new folder. Train. Open up a new folder. Cat. Okay, open up. Double click. So, I'll simply, like, you know, drag and drop some uh, cat images here. Sorry, my. Uh, Strike them. So I'm gonna select uh, just 10 uh, images from here. Uh, make sure that, like, you know, if you add more, uh, you know, images, that's good. Like, you know, you will, your train, your model will be like in you know, a more accurate. But right now, I'm gonna just simply adding uh, just really like in you know, a few. Um, so it's, uh, and another model will create a new folder. What do you need? A rat. Okay. Open up. Rat. So new models. A few more. Just uh, like ten of them. Make sure that you add only like you know the. Uh, original pictures uh, because your model will get confused if you like an add a just a random pictures actually so it's better to add like this okay all right so that's it yeah you're done um so what ne what next you need to do is like you know you can simply you know so go ahead and add this train here that's it and yeah, so just uh, hit run training. Perfect, so that's done. This is all about, okay. So if you want, you can add the test data also, but I'm just uh, not doing it this moment. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, right now I'm gonna go to the same thing again. Let me just simply select some image here. Sorry, I, I cannot do that actually. For sorry, I forgot that. Sorry for that. I'll create a new folder. Somewhere here, new folder. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, test. I'll some add some more uh, the just wanna add some images here. Okay, it's good. Uh it's good, it's good. Alright, some cat images too. Uh, 
good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, that's it. Uh, just don't wanna. Just wanna show you. Like you know, that's all. I. That's the reason why I'm like I'm just randomly selecting. But make sure that you add a lot of images so that like you know, your model will recognize more. Uh, so right now I'm gonna opening up and where's my finder? I'm gonna put this one in here. Yeah, here you go. That it's a hundred percentage. Then uh, let me just add this image here. It's hundred confidence, hundred percentage. And let me add this one to hundred percent right. And yeah, cat hundred percentage. All right, so. Yep, here you go. It's everything is working perfect. So there's one thing you need to make sure when you're adding that these files here, right? Uh, see the training module like in 100% accuracy. So make sure that you always have this 100% you, you don't require to like you know anything above 80. I would say that it's good. But if you have like in you know, a more variance like you know from uh, 30, 20 or uh, 80 then it's good to have like you know uh, add more 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 uh, images uh, for this case it's good uh, and you know if you get 100 it's good all right so then and one more thing i just want to let you uh, i just want to make sure when you make the prof when you make this uh, you know um, this folder here train folder here this is CAT, RAT, uh, CAT, and it's all capitalized. And uh, this is, I just made it uh, for a purpose. So look at here outputs, preview. Do you see that it's RAT here? It's CAT. So make sure that you need to, like, you know, uh, the name accordingly. Uh, to, you cannot just simply say that SQL, uh, something like that, SQL. And you put the images of the all the uh, uh, cats. The world make it confuse, you know, uh, it confuse the model. So make sure that uh, to create that. So once you're done, uh, yeah, all you go. There you go. So then you can just simply download, get it if you want. Just you pay, put a name. Uh, I'll simply save it in the uh, desktop just to show you guys. That's it. Or you can directly do it uh, with the uh, Xcode. So here we are, our uh, sorry, here we are, our new ML model here. That's all. Thank you guys. Bye. I'll uh, come to the next video with a uh, new more informations about.